Hello, this video is about the Android app Alpine Quest. It shows the initial setup and the basic menus. I've already installed Alpine App Quest, so I'll just click on the icon to open it. Here's the main screen of the app. Right now, it is showing a topo map. At the top left corner, you can see there is the uh, location coordinates of the center of the map. At the center of the map there's a small circle. As I move the map around the coordinates are changing. There are two coordinate systems being displayed. A lat long and below that in blue UTM. Below that is a map a scale. As I zoom the map you can see the scale changing. It's in miles and it changes to feet. At the bottom left of the screen, there's a menu. There's five options. The first one is kind of the, the general main menu, allowing you to hide the menu, to lock the screen, print a map, or go into settings. We'll look more at that in a moment. Next to that is a map menu, and you can choose which map or maps to display, and you can save maps for offline use. Next is the place marks location menu where you can um, save a location or a place a waypoint. After that is the GPS menu which you need to use to, to turn on the GPS and to start and stop a recording of the track that you're uh, making. And that's followed by a compass menu that lets you use or not use the compass of the, the device to orientate your map. First, we'll go over some basic settings that you will want to set before you start using the app. So we'll click on the, the settings next to the little gear. You can choose your distance units, your location formats, bearing units, slope, pressure, um, lots of options. First, you'll probably want to do your location and possibly add or use a secondary location. Under here, there's many choices. I have a WGS 84 with a lat long displaying degree minute seconds as my choice. Um, if you are using more of a, a legacy map, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom where you have the option of the NAD 27. But this is not used much anymore. Um, the Ventura County Air Unit and search and rescue teams have all basically finally moved on to the WGS-84. So we will select that. Under our secondary format, we're going to do UTM with the same WGS-84. And we'll set things as um, slope and degrees and be sure you're on the um, true north and the other settings you can go through this and kind of adjust them to what works best for you you'll have options and um, kind of display things, whether you want uh, the, the size and resolution, the, the, the text font size. But for now, um, this is probably basically good. You can adjust things like having um, the screen never go to sleep or um, being able to access the map without going through the lock screen, which are handy things to set up. Now we'll look at the map menu. So for the available maps, you've got quite a few choices and you can add more. 
I've saved um, the hybrid view of the Bing Maps, which is uh, Microsoft's maps. And I also use maps under the US CalTOPO list. If your device isn't showing some of these map options, you can scroll all to the bottom and add new maps. So you'd select add new maps. And we go to the bottom of this list. We have some USA maps and here we get to the USA CalTOPO maps. And you want to add those because those are, are very useful. Within the CalTOPO maps, I've used the USGS Raster TOPO map and the US Forest Service TOPO map. Both are, are very um, useful maps and you'll want to download them so you'll have the ability to use them when you're offline. Now, to download them, you have the Select Area and Save Area. Right now, I'm displaying um, the, the topo map, USGS map, and to use it offline, first of all, any part of the map that you viewed, as you view it, it is saved, but to view it, or to save an entire area without having to, to, to slowly scroll across it and view it, it's much easier to select and save an area. So once we've picked that, it shows a box and you can um, zoom to fit the area you need within that box. You can also change and redefine the um, size or the shape of the box. On the right side, you have at the bottom an option of zoom, and this sets what level of detail is being saved. At the top, it shows the map that is being saved, and also shows the size of the, the saved area. So if you have a, a higher resolution or if you're covering a bigger area, it's going to be larger. And so I'm going to um, zoom out to a larger area and then I'm going to adjust the zoom. And so at this point it would take 438 megabytes to save this map area. I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to actually zoom in so it's not quite so big but when I hit at the the bottom right the little um, picture of a memory card and it starts to do it it will still do it um, very quickly because all that is actually already saved um, but it, it's showing there's an error and that's because my phone actually does not have um, Wi-Fi or uh, cellular access at the moment And just be careful at this point because you can accidentally try to save, you know, many gigabytes of map data and that can use up your, your data plan. It's best to do it on Wi-Fi and it can take a long time if you um, have selected too much area or too, too great of a detail. You could have to leave your phone downloading the map for, our, you know, maybe an hour or more if you're not on a fast enough connection. Next, we'll go to the Place Marks menu, which is the little flag. Um, under here, you have the Create a Place Mark option. So I'm going to select Create a Place Mark. You have a bunch of things you can create. You can create a waypoint, a picture waypoint, a set of waypoints, a route, a path, an area. And there's uh, lots of other options and things you can um, adjust. So we're just going to start with something simple of a waypoint. Now, it's going to create this waypoint at what is the center of the map. You can name it, and you can either select the, the center of the screen there, or you can edit and type in whatever coordinates you want to use. So for this example, I'm going to cancel it. And we will first move the map to a point of interest. So we're going to go to Pyramid Lake, and I'm going to put the, the 
the center dot right on the dam spillway for the Pyramid Lake Dam. I'm going to go to the place markers, create a place mark and create a waypoint and we'll label this as the dam. And I will hit OK. So it has created a waypoint and we can zoom in on it and it's um, right there on the dam. It says the name and there's a purple dot. You have the choice of choosing the color. And select it. It shows the altitude of it. Now on the name I'm going to long press and it brings up a menu that shows the coordinates of that waypoint, um, their altitude, the date and time it was set. On the right there's a little picture of a clipboard. You can touch the clipboard and it brings up um, copy and paste options so you could copy the uh, GPS coordinates of that waypoint in multiple formats whether UTM or lat long and you would just touch on the clipboard next to the format style you want and then it will take it and copy it into the clipboard and you can like email it or um, text message the coordinates easily from that Now we'll look at the GPS menu. It's the little crosshairs with the dot. And here is where you turn the GPS function on or off. And um, once it's recording the GPS position, you can record a track with turning the track recording on or off. So first I turn the GPS on. Once you've turned on GPS position and track recording. It will display on the screen the track as you're moving along it as you're making it and it, it will allow you the option of saving the track and stopping and starting of recording of it. So here we have the final menu option, the compass and it simply chooses whether the screen is orientated with um, the map having north at the top or the map uh, moves to face magnetic north. So I will turn the compass on and the map is now turning and as I turn the device it keeps uh, north in the map towards actual north in the real world. And then I turn the compass off and it goes back to the map showing north at the top of the screen. Now if you have um, any questions or other things you'd like shown, just make a, a comment down below the video. Uh, thank you for watching.